In this technical lecture, I'm going to talk about how you can integrate your business rules with your business processes or ABAP programs. This lecture will be divided into two parts. The first part, which is exceptionally short, will address the steps needed to be taken from within BRF+, while the second part will focus on what should be done outside of BRF+. The motivation of integrating your business rules to the business processes should be trivial. If no such integration exists, then the business rules that are created in BRF are meaningless to the business. They are simply floating out there in the repository. If you do not consider yourself as a developer, then your part is very short. All you need to do is to click the Create Code Template button. and hand over the template to the nearest developer. The rest is up to him or her. If you do consider yourself as a developer, or you are just curious of what's next, keep on watching. I will now demonstrate an implementation of the resume check business rule as an ABAP function module. First, I need to copy the template. I now moved to Eclipse-based IDE, where I can conveniently create new function modules. For the sake of this example, I will create this function as a local function. Now I need to paste the code template. And of course, I need to maintain the input and output variables. They should reflect the data objects of the context of the BRF function object. It is important to make sure there aren't any typing differences in order to avoid type incompatibility. Now I need to address the code. The code can be divided into two parts. The first part is where the context data is defined. The second part is where we pass over the context data to BRF and ask it to process the function object. Notice the ID of the function object that appears as a constant in the beginning of the code. This tells BRF which function object should be processed. Before I can activate the code, I first need to maintain the context part by inserting the actual parameters of the function module in the specified locations. Those locations are marked with box brackets. And finally, I need to place the result parameter in the right spot. That's it! I can now activate the function module and test it.
The rest of the process is to make use of this function module inside the ABAP program that implements the business process. From the ABAP perspective, this is business as usual, 